Hey y'all and welcome back. This is Sheena here. Welcome to the channel, The Transformation Hub, where we are equipping, inspiring, and training believers of Jesus Christ to lead and live transformed lives from a renewed mind and a restored soul. So welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and share so that these videos can get in the algorithm so that subscribers can go up and the word of the Lord can go forth in the name of Jesus. Today, I'm dropping in with a word. Okay, a divine download. The Lord has really been speaking to me about fruit. Okay, about fruit. And the word of the Lord today is you will know them by their fruit. <clears throat> you will know them by their fruit, okay? You will know them by their fruit. Let it sink into your spirit. You will know them by their fruit. Oftentimes, we can get caught up with counterfeits or we can get caught in relationships, situationships, okay, that are not ordained by God that will lead us and derail us from our destiny. But over are those days. We don't have any time to waste in this hour as we are holding on to the promise of the Lord, divine pairings, divine partnerships, divine connections, purpose partners, mission mates in this hour, okay? So we don't have any time. We will know them by their fruit. We will know them by their fruit. So I'm coming from Matthew 7, and 16 through 20. Matthew 7, 16 through 20. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Okay, I'm going to read verse 18 again. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Verse 20, therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. Okay, so again, that was Matthew 7, verses 16 through 20. And so the Lord had just really been talking to me about fruit in this hour, how it's important to not be so caught up in people's giftings or even in um, outer appearance, okay, but to know them by their fruit, Okay, and we know that the fruit of the Spirit, which is in Galatians 5, okay, you will know them by their fruit. So that is the fruit that God is talking about. That is the fruit that the Word of the Lord is talking about. So if we go into the Word and we look at what fruit means, right? What is fruit? What is it even, what is it even talking about? So fruit is a work an act or a deed. So therefore you will know them by their fruit. So therefore you will know them by their works. You will know them by their act and you will know them by their deeds. Okay. Because that's what fruit means. You will also know them. Fruit is praises, which are presented to God as a thank offering. So you will know them by their praise to God. Okay, by their praise to God. Are they prideful or are they humble? Do they have a reverence for the Lord? You will know them by their fruit, okay? You will know them by their fruit. And so if we go to Galatians 5 and we look at the fruit of the Spirit and break down what is the fruit of the Spirit because we want to know. We want to know. We want to know them by their fruit. The fruit of the Spirit, joy, peace, righteousness, okay? It's nine of them. I want to look them up for you, okay? So the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, 
faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So Matthew 7 tells us we will know them by their fruit. And I had to do a study on the word faithfulness because I really thought that faithfulness was how are you faithful in relationships? And that's just a part of it. But faithfulness is the confession. Okay, your confession of your faith. So if you are a believer and you are intertwined and in close relationships with people that are non-believers, okay? If you're if you're called to evangelize, yes, as believers, our mandate is to evangelize, evangelize. But if this relationship is derailing you from your destiny, okay, because of lust, because of pride, because of ego, you will know them by their fruits. And so one of the fruit of the spirit is faithfulness and faithfulness is what is their confession about their faith? Okay. Okay. So it's not just the person that's going out doing good deeds. Okay. That's good. That's really good. But what is the confession of their faith? Okay, we cannot be deceived in this hour as God is doing something divine with relationships. We don't want to miss the mark. So we want to be very intentional, okay? We want to pray for an increase in the gift of discerning of spirits. We want to be intentional with asking God, who sent this person? Is this person from you? Or is this person from the enemy? Because if it's from the enemy, it might look good. It might feel good. But no. I can't waste any more time going down that route. I can't waste any more time because I'm going to wait on what God has for me, which will come with peace, righteousness, and joy, okay? So you will know them by the fruit. That is the word of the Lord. You will know them by the fruit. So Father God, we just pray for an increase in the gift of discerning of spirits as we go forth in our assignments and as we go forth, God, to do your will in the earth. God, we pray that we will be divinely aligned with individuals that you send, that you send, God. We want divine partners. We want divine connections. We want divine alignments so that we can propel further into our purpose in the name of Jesus. Hear our hearts, Lord. We don't want to waste any more time on any counterfeits or anything that might give us temporary gratification, but that will lead to lifelong consequences. So hear the word of the Lord. You guys know them by their fruit. Be intentional. Okay, be intentional. Be intentional. Be intentional in this hour. You will know them by their fruit, their works, their acts, their deeds. The confession of their faith, their reverence for the Lord, you will know them by their fruit. Okay, that's the word of the Lord. If this has blessed you, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Send this to the last three to five people that you text so that this word can be a blessing to them too. We never know what confirmations people are praying for. So I pray that this was a blessing to you. Hold fast, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, God is divinely pairing individuals in this hour. That goes for marriages, right? I know it's a lot about kingdom marriages, it's true. That is the word of the Lord. That is the word of the Lord for 2022 to 2024. The next couple of years, we're gonna see godly marriages go forth like crazy like and it's going to be in a crazy good way okay so that is the word of the lord but this is also talking about divine partnerships people that can push you closer to your destiny people that are intentional and actually care about your well-being they're not there just to take 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 okay they're going to come serving but it's going to be reciprocated both ways that's what this time is so we want to be intentional and we will know them by their fruit. Be blessed.